प्रोफेसर राकेश सर हेली सर ओके अलवा हाँ डन ऑल डन ऑल सेट ओके लाइव एन एंड ऑफ़ ए स्टोरी ऑलवेज कम्स विथ ए न्यू बिगिनिंग बाय प्रेइंग ऑल माइटी आई वुड लाइक टू सीक द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ़ आर बिलावत चेयरमैन आर एन शेट्टी ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ़ आर प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर एम के वेंकटेशा एंड डायरेक्टर डॉक्टर ह as we approach to the last session of what was a knowledgeable one week refresher course for pgct and kmat aspirants organized by department of mba rnsit in association with seven sense talent solution i pranava jayasimha welcome you all cordially to the valedictory event a better valedictation always have to begin with getting to know more precisely about the events occurred i request Dr. I. G. Srikant, our program director, to present a report on the entire PGCT and KMAT refresher course. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Pranav. Uh, good afternoon to one and all, my dearest uh, engineering final year and degree students. Uh, thank you uh, for being with us one week. Okay, and you had a trust on us, and the, we had a program. So today we are going to end with the last session. Uh, let a brief what has happened here. So you all are aware, RNSIT MBA and Seven Sense both tied up, and uh, we are giving, we are helping students because of this uh, COVID nineteen pandemic. You cannot go for physical classes. So what we did is uh, we have done this online coaching to you. It's an institutional social responsibility. At the same time, Seven Sense also thought corporate social responsibility. So together we did this. And when we started this, what happened? Many other colleges also uh, started the same courses, PGCT crash course or something uh, training program and all. I don't want to name uh, other colleges, but what happened? Let me tell you. In other colleges, uh, our professor Rakesh, he is also a director, program director. Uh, professor Rakesh received a call when we. Uh, shared our schedule, our poster to uh, to them, to their students, and we got a call from them saying that recently they are done with PGCT program. It seems what they are saying to us is, uh, we have when we announced the same program, sixty students registered and forty uh, four have attended. One college said this, okay, and another reputed college they said that one thirty students registered, ninety four have attended for classes. They said. we were worried actually how come the reputed colleges are uh, uh, less registrations they have was the timing wrong or what happened i was not aware how the receiving uh, side are degree students are engineering students receiving side is not good we were not aware all those things okay we don't uh, uh, always we don't depend on other college or their strategies and all we have decided to do institutional social responsibility so we did it so we announced the same to the uh degree final year and engineering students for after announcing within 2 3 days we got a very good response 400 500 plus registrations got over then we did a follow up another 2 days or 3 days finally end of the day what we have given for registration 20 july 27th we have started the session but before that when we have gone through the database it is more than 1500 plus and most of them are asking even uh, actually 2000 plus registrations we had mca mtech students some of them left so they they thought that this is only mba or concentrating so even they personally cross checked with me most of the students individually they have done uh, whatsapp to me so i have answered them general questions will be covered to you not the core subject so most of them left in between so we had a regular Uh, views here. What happened apart from registrations? We had five to six groups in WhatsApp only. We used to update. You all are aware now. Uh, the listeners here, you are in the group three, group four, group two also. You know that every time how you are getting updates. So from July twenty seventh to till now thirty first, what happened? July twenty seventh, we had an uh, inaugural program. In inaugural program itself, uh, we had eight thousand plus views, real time views. that we received from seven sense only in the dashboard uh, what they are sending every day to us we got a shock by seeing 8000 plus views uh, we had for inaugural function followed by for the sessions sessions what happened i thought uh, inaugural function most of them will attend but all the sessions i have a doubt same other like other colleges only students may do but uh, 
for our wonder we have seen that every day 150 charts only sorry 200 plus charts i am seeing so you are interacting with the trainer and apart from that i am seeing regularly 1200 plus views uh, they are watching our every day programs like uh, quantitative aptitude logical reasoning english uh, language or general knowledge classes or uh, previous uh, year question paper what they have solved and mock test what they have attended really that real time views every day when i receive we felt very happy 1500 plus continuously there and 200 250 plus they are interacting here uh, with the trainer and i loved here training his some students were asking uh, sir can you please explain this in kannada i was going through that uh, comments and all so immediately the trainer uh, immediately the trainer has taken uh, the session in kannada itself we felt very happy so all the trainers have done wonderful job so i want to personally thank to mr vinod prabhu how they have done and uh, let me tell you one more mr vinod prabhu seven sense they have accepted this only because of rnsit mba for others they are charging huge amount for the same training program so whatever trust you all uh, registered students kept on us i hope we maintain the same uh, uh, all students even if you want to do the revision also you can do that it is available in our uh, rnsit mb official youtube so you can come there and you can go through one more time the sessions so this will be available till your pgct exam day okay so you can uh, learn you can practice more and uh, let me talk about you uh, that is students who attended you are awesome why i am telling you most of the students registered but participated there uh, as i said 1200 1500 why they don't participate because uh, we know that how our lifestyle is going on outside so most of the students and even their uh, to some extent their parents also so they want good rank without preparation without practice so this kind of mentality we have seen in uh, most of the students without practice and without uh, uh, hard work how you get rank and pgct rank if you get what happens i'll tell you in all the colleges okay in my college and all other colleges you are spending 185000 uh, if you get a very good rank for mba but if you go for management quota if you don't get proper rank you are spending 4.855 lakhs you are spending for each college this you know it is not only double okay two and a half times it is that amount is why we want to waste our parents money unnecessarily so if you get a good rank here directly you can come to good colleges so top 5 top 10 colleges you can come here so in that way i want to thank each and every student okay who attended and uh, continuously even today morning i had uh, doubt uh, varma lakshmi pooja is there but still when i switched on that first session and second session i wonder students were uh, uh, continuously uh, they, by showing their interest and participating there itself i felt very happy thank you so much all the best definitely you get a good rank and good college so if any doubts you have you please follow us rnsit mba website you can follow us whatsapp number we have and youtube also thank you thank you so much bye thank you for the detailed report shrikant sir success stories of the program is derived from the happiness of the audience let's hear to what our participants has to say about the program our first participant who would like to give the feedback would be pallavi m over to you pallavi good afternoon everyone myself pallavi from Stum- tumkur our person uh, of uh, finally a become at oxford degree college nagarbavi would like bangalore thank you so much having me here i am delighted to hear happy to sharing with all of you all section is very helpful for pgcet and also a competitive exams <coughs> in every section we learn more and more things i really thank you so much for rnsit mba department giving a great opportunity to us it's a very wonderful teaching it uh, especially all of our trainings is done a very good very good teaching <coughs> and thank you for their 
precious time given to us. Thank you so much, RNSIT MBA department, for great opportunity as well as Seven Sense team. Thank you, one and all. Over to you, Pooja. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Pooja KP from a village Kalgundi in Assam district. I am studying final year BCom in Government First Grade College. Firstly, I would like to thank RNSIT MBA and Seven Sense Solution Solutions for organizing this online sessions for the PGCET aspirants. I was a, it was a very informative classes and well conducted. I enjoyed quantitative aptitude and logical reasoning because maths is my favorite subject. And I also learned more about general knowledge and current affairs and English also. I once again thank RNSIT MBA and Seven Sense Solutions for giving us this learning platform. Thank you all. Thank you, Pooja. Uh, I guess Srinivas is the next participant. Hello. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, you are audible. Yeah, sir. So I am Srinivas Mugekar, and I am currently pursuing my final year BBA in Utkal University, Bhubaneswar, Odisha. So I am. Uh, my native is uh, Karnataka, and I al always wanted to enroll into an MBA college in Bangalore. That's where I got to know about the PGCET exam, right? It was like uh, I was very confused and worried, uh, like what, uh, what, how to prepare and what kind of questions and all will come into the test. So, like after the refresher course, sir, uh, I am now like totally clear about what to do and how to prepare for it. So, I want to thank the RNSIT MBA department and the Seven Sense for both for bringing up such kind of course at the at this time, like pandemic time, where many of the students are very much worried, worried and confused about their career and where, how to prepare about uh, such entrance exams. Then uh, lastly, I would like to thank Seven Sense for bringing up such type of trainers. Uh, like uh, they have pr provided us and helped us to decode many questions and uh, of every section more quickly and accurately. So thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Srinivas. Uh, Santana. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Santana Kulkarni, pursuing BBA course at JSS Sri Manjunateshwara UG and PG Studies, Dharwad. Recalling and reminiscing about the five days course in this pandemic phase, the course was very useful, informative, and the most enthusiastic for all the learning aspirants. All the resource persons were very knowledgeable and supportive throughout this course. And it was the well organized by RNSIT team. I thank RNSIT for giving such a wonderful platform to learn more things throughout this online course. And last but not the least, I also thank Seven Sense team for providing plenty of knowledge and supporting the throughout well the, this journey. RNSIT. Thank you, everyone. Pranavji, thank you, thank you all for the beautiful feedback. Given. Pranavji, Pranavji, just a minute. So, uh, going since we have four people who have already given feedback, right? I would want to extend this to participants who haven't been able to join us on the call. Uh, I'll just hand okay. it over back to you, Pranavji. So, see, we saw uh, Pallavi, we saw Pooja, we saw Srinivas, and we saw Sanjana. You could see each of them had a different aspect to talk about. They had uh, the quality of the training, gratitude towards RNSIT, thanks to Seven Sense. They spoke about the difficulty level of questions which were made simple. I also want to take this time to read the other feedbacks that have come on the live chat. So these are people who couldn't possibly be on the, uh, on the call today, but I just want to read that out. If all of you who are a part of this session, please go look at the live chat. It just shows how beneficial this session has been for everyone. Starts off with Sudhirji who speaks about congratulations and well done. Madhu Goda talks about why can't we do one more week? It was really useful 
uh, for us. Rakshit Vyas talks about awesome teaching by Seven Sins. Bashira Noha says all the sessions of the classes were very helpful. Thank you. Harshita Ramesh says all the classes were really interesting. I wish there were more. Aditya Vashishta says it was awesome and thank you. Nishchal Prasanna says all the classes were really good. Thank you so much. Bashira Noah has a special word of recommendation for Nitin sir, whose, whose coaching, she says, was awesome. Uday DJ talks about, first of all, thanks to RNS, uh, RNSIT MBA for organizing this PGCT course by Seven Cents. All the sessions were superb. Sir and Madam, thank you so much for your valuable time and knowledge given to us. Rakshit VS says, we all request RNSIT and Seven Cents to please continue for one more week. Sahana K says, each and every of the session was good. The trainer made Everyone feel comfortable and communicated well. Very knowledgeable session. Thank you for the wonderful opportunity. Shivatejas Modgalya says it was an absolutely smashing and awesome. Well spent five days with Seven Cents Aptitude. Trainers were very effective and our views are completely changed. A big thanks to RNSIT. Praveena says thank you RNSIT and Seven Cents for this course during this pandemic. It was a wonderful opportunity. Another Sahana, Sahana HR says it was very helpful, sir. And Swati Belgaunkar says, thank you so much, Arana Saiti, for the fantabulous session. I had thought they might just brush up the concepts, but it was very helpful from the basics they made us understand. Thank you so much, sir and madam. So these are the live feedbacks that have gone. I'll just probably take the final feedback that has come in. Syed Abu Bekar says all the sessions were fabulous, more interactive, most worthy and informative. I thank Arana Saiti for providing us wonderful opportunities to take a step ahead in the preparations for PGC. What I want to highlight before I hand it back to Pranav uh, is it is not just conducting a session. Uh, we had the dignitaries on the first day who spoke about uh, uh, before the session started. I want to thank them all of uh, all of them once again from the bottom of my heart because it is they who made up the mind. It is they who uh, took the initiative and they who contacted Seven Cents, interacted with all of you. Uh, reached out to your respective degree principals, reached out their students, students of RNSIT MBA who have reached out to all of you and then you got to know and many congratulations to all the participants who have been on um, uh, this entire journey with us in the last one week. Thank you so much. I want to once again thank uh, the principal of RNSIT, Dr. M. K. Venkatesha sir, HOD of MBA, Dr. U. Bojana sir and the two stars of this program, Dr. I. G. Shikan sir and Rakesh sir who have been there and they have been monitoring every session, every day, every feedback, every live chat and that is one of the key reasons that Seven Sense along with our trainers have been able to give you sessions because of which we have gotten such wonderful feedback. There have been more feedbacks there. Please do uh, continue giving feedback back there in the live chat because we are going to ensure that it's displayed for the visitors who come to RNSIT MBA. Many thanks once again on behalf of the, all the trainers who took part in this particular session. Nitin sir, we had Suman ma'am, we had Jyotsna ma'am and myself Vinod. I thank you once again and I hope I have the service of, uh, I have the, uh, the good fortune of servicing you sometime in the future and I hope that RNSIT has uh, the chance to have you as students. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Vinod, sir. Thank you for those beautiful words. Thank and you. thank you for all those people who gave the feedback in the live chat on YouTube. And also, I also thank these four people, Pallavi, Pooja, Srinivas and Sanjana, who gave uh, beautiful words as the feedback. Now, as the program is approaching to the end, uh, no program is successful without a hard working team behind it. Now, I would request Professor Rakesh Nagraj, our program director, to give a vote of thanks to everyone involved in making this program a huge success. Yeah. So, a very good, uh, good evening to all the participants, the program directors and uh, the founder of Seven Sense and my dear students who are present here. So, um, gratitude is the best attitude always. So, I would like to acknowledge my thanks to uh, the management of RNSIT, our uh, chairman, our director and our principal and uh, our head of the department, Dr. U. Bojana, sir, in his absentia. And I would like to thank uh, the program director, my colleague, uh, Dr. I.G. Srikant, sir, and all my dear colleagues who have put in a lot of efforts in hosting this particular one-week event, free, uh, free uh, online uh, PGCT and uh, KMAT uh, refresher course. I would like to acknowledge my thanks. And a special thanks has to be given to the founder of Seven Sense, uh, uh, Mr. Vinod Prabhu, sir, who has put in a lot of efforts and all the trainers and um, i would not 
uh, end my thanks if i don't uh, thank uh, mr uh, pranav pradyumna uh, yashas nirupama singh and other coordinators Me- meghnavi uh, shrishti kulkarni nandini jai shri a prabhu and uh, pallavi so all of them have really put in a lot of efforts in hosting this particular event and thank you all and uh, a special thanks to all the participants across the nation who have registered for this program and who was uh, who was there for all the sessions because attendance links was there and all those things were there but still uh, in spite of all this pandemic situations everybody were there and uh, you were a real great audience and thank you once again on behalf of rnsit and on behalf of seven sense thank you thank you sir as we come to the end of the valedictory function i would like to wish all the participants a great great journey ahead of all the endeavors you have to face in your life and i would also like to wish you all the very well for the upcoming pgct and kmat kmat examinations and to add to the same you will be also receiving a certificate of participation i wish i guess pradyumna will be displaying it yeah thank you pradyumna a certificate of participation for attending this refresher course through email latest by maximum of couple of days you'll be getting it as per the schedule the last general knowledge class is supposed to happen now i guess uh, right vinod sir so what i will do is i will tell them how to prepare for this particular uh, uh, section and also okay. show how they can take the test we are going to give them the mock pgct online test i will demonstrate how they can take that up okay okay so you'll be having that uh, after this valedictory function so once again uh, i pranava jaisimma from third semester rnsit mba department uh, thank you once again one and all for giving me this opportunity to host the host today's valedictory program signing off on behalf of rnsit again thank you we uh, thank uh, everyone who was a part of the farewell and uh, we've heard from all the members all the participants so let's just look at how we could conclude the session and uh, see how that could benefit all of you firstly i would show how uh, i would prepare for general knowledge i'm not going to look at any uh, f- uh, 10 questions in the list and then show it i'll uh, uh, present now and uh, what i will do just give me a minute pretty sure you can see what i want you to see okay let me just see if the screen is visible are you uh, able to see the google news screen are people if you can put in the live chat if you are able to see the google news screen that would help me i think you should be able to so this is how i would prepare for the general knowledge section right i am not going to look uh, yeah you can so this is how i would prepare so i i could look at 10 questions and help you but since you have a greater possibility of questions coming in over the last um, uh, probably month so because that would be fresh in the minds of the paper setter what i would do is i would go to a particular site like this uh, like not worry too much about some news items like this news item i would not be worried too much about about the, the movies right so uh, unlikely that we would get a lot of questions there so but just be knowledgeable about who if you look at this particular screen item that you can see here uh, who is sushant singh rajput who are the other people involved in this particular scenario there is a person called riya chakrabarty then we had ankita lokande who was a sex girlfriend you can see that news item here ankita ankita lokande riya chakrabarty is in the news because uh, now sushant singh's father and their family talk about her being involved uh, in his death uh, some uh, money being taken out of his account and uh, medicines being given which was not supposed to be given all of that uh, so what i would r- suggest all of you do is go to news.google.com and keep seeing if you do not have uh, up to date knowledge until now what you could do is go to the newspapers that you have at home the papers that have come in which are old like which of the last month or so just glance at least what is given there if you feel general knowledge is your weak section now let us look at this particular section right ugc final exam so ugc stands for university grants commission the controversy here is the final year exams of degree engineering and uh, mba programs they the government and the courts have given september as the last date and now there is a case in the Supreme 
Supreme Court. This is that particular news item, the case in the Supreme Court about whether people could uh, be uh, graduating from their course without writing the final exam. The junior semesters, they have cleared them. Now, what about the final year exam? So, this particular news item would be about it. If you want, so what you could do is always click and go into what the news item is. You will get the news item here. You could read that in more detail if you have the time. Since you do not know when your exams are, best to talk about uh, what is this. So, if you see this news item, you will get what is MHA. You might not know what is MHA. MHA is the Ministry of Home Affairs, which is the government body that decides on all of this based on security, based on... Um, the pandemic situation, all of those. So, Supreme Court has asked them to uh, talk about uh, uh, this particular item. So, let's look at this. There's a charter flight to move Ashok Gehloth MLS to Jaisalmer. So, what is this particular news item? Ashok Gehloth ji is the chief minister of a state called Rajasthan. And in this particular state, you had um, Sachin Pilot uh, who left the Congress along with a few MLS. And so, now this particular government... Uh, is not very sure whether it has the required MLS to run the state. So, the go governor uh, wants uh, them to prove their majority. And the BJP is also not sure what is happening. Uh, Sachin Pilot is not sure what is happening. And so, in that situation, Ashok Gelat has taken all their MLS into some resort so that they are not poached, which is known as horse trading in political circle so this can be avoided. So, this is how I would, I would prepare. So, once I, uh, th I see this news item, I will go and uh, read this item also in google news item you can also see this if you are interested in india news you could focus on that if you're interested in world news you could focus on that or local news or business news you could do this now five days short of a year there is a jk jammu and kashmir politician called sajjad bon and he was recently freed so in a lot of politicians in jammu and kashmir were under house arrest and this particular politician sajad bon was freed recently and close to a year he was under house arrest you could see photos of um, uh, mr farooq abdullah and farooq abdullah son omar abdullah being in, in detention mufti all of these jammu and kashmir politicians so you should know the names of those people and what happened in jammu and kashmir similarly when i read this item i would get to know about article 370 so it is all linked what is article 370 and what is the what when it is repealed, what happened? When Jammu and Kashmir is now no longer a state, it's a union territory, what happened? All of this you could prepare based on these questions. I could give you five questions and close this, but I'm just telling you how you could prepare. So you could see that this is uh, the Bakrit season. So this particular item would not have a general knowledge aspect, but you just have to know that today was uh, Varma Lakshmi, tomorrow is Bakrit. It's also known as Eid al -Adha. So that is the news item that is here. Now, if you see this news item, China telling India not to use its internal affairs, this is mostly got to do with the Rafale jets coming into India. So, we had uh, Pakistan objecting to it and China objecting to it. China telling its jets are more advanced than the Rafale jets. So, India had jets called as MiG-29 before. After MiG-29, we had something known as Sukhoi from Russia. And now, after Sukhoi, it's the Rafale jets. The advantage being that um, um, you have uh, radar, uh, can't detect these aircrafts and these aircrafts go really fast fast and their missiles you might have seen in a lot of whatsapp uh, status updates that these missiles can travel um, very long distances so you could read all of uh, this and also this item is linked to india banning apps uh, Chinese apps, initially 59 apps were banned, then uh, last week or this week sometime, we had around 46 more apps that were clones of those previous apps also being banned. Uh, there is talk of India not allowing China to um, uh, participate in governmental contracts. Huawei, which is a big Chinese company, India does not want to allow them into 5G trials. And that news is linked to Reliance being now capable in 5G. So you see all of these new news items are, 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 are linked. Okay, so this one, uh, so if you read this item, it says Obama, who is the ex-president of the US. Now, US is the country that has the most number of COVID cases. And uh, you had Trump who did not wear a mask in public for a long time. And he was against any sort of lockdown or any sort of restrictions on people. Now, Obama... Uh, many people like Obama and uh, they thought that uh, he wearing a mask is a message that we have to maintain social distancing. So this should be about that. So this is linked to the previous item. Students should prepare for exams. You saw what happened with CET. CET until 
CET started yesterday and ended today. So on day before night, until that time, we did not know whether CET would go on or would get postponed. And finally, the Honorable High Court allowed it uh, to happen. And suddenly, a lot of students said, oh, my mindset is not ready. We don't know what might happen. So that is the reason we tell PGCT also be prepared. Don't wait for it to be postponed. Think we'll get two more months to not have to think about these aspects. So if you see these items, you'll see here Indian IT companies, a lot of them are having to... Uh, have uh, people being let go as in people being fired so you see this item being about it read these items general knowledge the best way to improve it is to regularly reading so this item you might not get in the news this is like the local news nine dead after drinking sanitizer with water so a lot of people might not have had access to alcohol so uh, during the lockdown also many people think sanitizer is mixed with has alcohol in it so drinking sanitizer is equivalent to drinking alcohol no it is very dangerous very deadly and uh, you see here because they couldn't find liquor people drank and then they passed away uh, this news item talks about the inauguration uh, or the bhumi pujan on august 5 of the ram jan bhumi trust for the uh, judgment that came uh, about a uh, game about that ayodhya disputed land you see there is a inauguration there uh, prime minister modi is expected oh you just be knowledgeable your viewpoint is not important. You can just be knowledgeable about what is happening. Muktar Abbas Anakvi, who is one of the main Muslim uh, leaders of the BJP, very few Muslim leaders that are present, he says that the Indian government banned triple tal talaq. And so the law against... So then you read this, you see who is Muktar Abbas Anakvi. What is triple talaq? Uh, what happened and why was it launched? Why are people for it? Why are people against it? You please uh, read that particular item. So Trump talks about uh, there are elections scheduled this year in the US and so uh, he wants to ensure that the election happens uh, physically instead of any mail-in voting. Mail-in voting is people sending, it's called as postal ballots. So Trump, uh, this particular item talks about that. This is delaying the November US presidential election. And then you have news about Corona. That's okay. And then this is the terrorist attack that has happened in Afghanistan. So there is ISIS now, there is Taliban now, there are US forces and the Afghanistan government. So you have all of these players in Taliban. And now you have news coming about potential vaccines in the US. Uh, you had the Oxford vaccine, you had um, the Patanjali claim about a vaccine here, but which did not work. You have different companies. There is an important company called the Serum Institute of India, which is the world's largest vaccine manufacturer. So when you read these items, so if you see me, Nitin was supposed to conduct this session, but he could not because of a power cut. With no preparation, I have just launched news.google.com and I am able to talk about any news item that is coming in. So that should be your goal and that, that would be the level of preparation that you should have. And that will only come, see I can show you 10 questions and you can read, but you, will, you can never be sure that those 10 questions will be posted. Right? I will post today's PPT in the group, that's okay, but I want to give, see giving you 10 questions is like giving you 10 chapatis you will eat it today what about tomorrow but if i teach you how to cook chapatis you will never be hungry that is what i am doing in this particular session so again here 19 hospitals people uh, this person if you see is manjunatha prasad who is the bbmp commissioner of bangalore bbmp stands for bruhat bengaluru mahanagara palika and then uh, hospitals, many hospitals do not want COVID patients because once a hospital has COVID patients, other patients do not want to get admitted or visit those hospitals. But the government has forced all hospitals which are above a certain standard, which have some capabilities to compulsorily admit COVID patients. And hospitals which are overcharging or not admitting, their licenses are, are being cancelled. This is about a particular incident, hot or falling. I don't know about this. Uh, and these are some new police commissioners and ADGPs. ADGP stands for Assistant Director General of Police. IG is for Inspector General. And so you have new police commissioner. ADGP got promoted to the Bangalore Police Commissioner. You might get this name. Remember this, Kamal Pant. Uh, and in uh, news about Karnataka and Bangalore, you have the Metro Phase to underground work. So you had a lot of... Um, uh, delay in the underground work near Majestic so people who are familiar with Bangalore uh, they could not do it uh, overground because uh, it's uh, just a very crowded place of Bangalore and so they had to do it underground now they're in the phase 2 also they are doing some underground work uh, uh, SBI stands for State Bank of India and their profits improved compared to other banks it jumped 81% so State Bank of India is a government run PSU and uh, 
that profit increased. You'll also see IOC stands for Indian Oil Cooperation, whose profits fell because people did not. Uh, Q1 stands for quarter one, which is April, May, and June, and that was the peak lockdown months in India, and uh, their profits fell because people were not utilizing transport, both public, private, uh, rail. Everything was stopped. You can also get some news about Sensex and Nifty. Sensex um, stands for the top 30 companies um, whose shares are traded. Uh, uh, this is about Reliance. A lot of investment happened in Reliance. Uh, recently, we had Google, we had Facebook, we had um, uh, uh, Qatari companies, we had Abu Dhabi Investment Group, all of them investing in Reliance. FMCG stands for Fast Moving Consumer Goods, which are all these... Uh, toothpaste soaps those kind of companies they are going to be facing some sort of a slowdown this year so all of this and this is about some new phones being launched I, i'm just interested you may not get any news about this uh, and these are about some entertainment so this is my personal preference this is what i would uh, read shakuntala devi the movie was launched recently so you have some news items coming about shakuntala devi so i think in one of these streaming platforms you have vidya balan playing shakuntala devi um, and you now see new link ups these news might not come movies and all that might not come uh, and sports those are what i'm interested in whatever you're interested in you could watch Lee talking about tendulkar and the respect he has for tendulkar um, all of this so you when you read so you see these spaceships coming back mars rover that spaceship came back so this is how i would prepare for uh, the general knowledge so if you I'll, let me just show you how you could go and look at the seven sense portal uh, if you go here this is the portal that you could go into 7th sense talent.com s-e-v-e-n-t-h s-e-n-s-e-t-a-l-e-n-t.com when you go there firstly what you do it would you would get a screen like this and now what you should do since you are coming in here for the first time if you are coming in here for the first time this test that we will give you will be free you do not have to worry you just go in here and for the login page i have logged in before so if you have not logged in before do a sign up and in the sign up you enter your details you could enter name you could enter uh, your email address your email address uh, would be important you have to give the actual email address because the details would come in there you enter your name we know you put in your email address uh, like this it could be a gmail id whatever is your email address you could keep it there and then you create a password um, i'm just showing and your mobile number uh, your college name even usn and prn stands for your roll number in the college university seat number anything that you have your branch course all of this very self self explanatory you don't you don't have a referral code so don't worry and after that you click on sign up so you have name email address password mobile number college name if your college name roll number branch if you have any branch any of these branches you it's very pretty straightforward then you click on sign up once you click on sign up you will get a code to your email you have to enter that in back in this page this page goes up you'll get a code there okay so once you've gotten the code and you've activated this is how you sign up you enter your email address and your password again and you sign up log okay so then you log in so this is done your sign up page is done your login page is done then whatever link we give you as the test you click on that link or you could even search that here okay for example if i search rns now i'll get these tests for example i'll get a company specific test that we created for rns it uh, en ey stands for ernst and company specific test robert bosch is another company specific test you'd get that do not worry whatever test we give you can search that here and once you click you will get the test page open like this so this was a mock cet test not a pg cet test this was a mock cet test that we had created for uh, the pu students and you will get your test in a similar window and once you get a similar window when you click on go you can start the quiz do not worry about the number of questions and about the sections physics chemistry maths biology is a demo test for um, 12th standard students for people who are attempting cet for engineering so once you start the quiz you will get your questions like this do not worry uh, about this but let's say if this is a question and you find this is the answer you click on this answer this is question one you click on this answer and if you save you will have one turn to green 
one turns to green because you have answered and similarly you read question 2 and you can see the timer here you can see the timer for this particular test you read question 2 and you find option d is the answer you click on option d and click on for after every question you please click on save and when you click on save this turns to to uh, green saying it is answered and at any time you can see you have answered two questions 13 questions are not answered let us say you read this question and you think this is the answer but you are not sure what do you do you click on this option let's say if there are 80 questions here 100 questions you don't know which question you are not sure which question you are sure right so i'll keep this option but i'm not sure i will do this mark for review so you will have this question turn blue at the end after 100 questions you can see oh third was my question which i was not sure so you can answer and mark for review you can answer all of these questions uh, you can click keep clicking next if you don't know an answer you can skip it but we strongly recommend that you don't skip because there are no negative markings so then i will click on next let me just show you i'll click i'm randomly clicking so do not worry about my score i'm just clicking and like we said if you do not know the answer generally click c i'm going to click c for all these questions sometimes you might place a minimum time limit that people have to spend before they submit the test okay so we might do that so here all of these 15 questions it has stopped it's not moving because there are only 15 questions i can come back to three and i think oh, oh no no p is not the answer it is c so i'll change it even if you don't change it it will take that option and then i will uh, save then i click on submit the test when i click on submit the test it says ah there are 15 minutes before which you can't submit so after 15 minutes it will get submitted and then uh, you will get the score i wanted to show the score but if there is a limit of 15 minutes that's not a problem you'll get the score you will get how others have performed you will get uh, the answers you will get the solution let me just see if i can show that for any other test let me just see if i can show that for any other test let me just see if any of these other tests i can access okay let me just see if I can access this test. Huh. So this is how I could view the test. See, if you see, this test has only one attempt and it says here zero attempts are left. So I can't attempt this test again. This was a Robert Bosch specific test which we had created for RNS IT. So if you view the solutions here, this is how you would get the solutions. You will say this is the rank because I randomly attempted, right? My rank was 179. Uh, you will get all of these details. You'll get number of. You will get time taken. You'll get the marks obtained. You'll get correct questions, incorrect questions, skipped questions. You'll get this graph, and for each question, you will get each question. You will get to know okay, this was correct, and what is the solution for that question? Question number two, you clicked C. It is incorrect. The answer was D. This is the solution. So you'll get the solution for a full length PGCT test. So you'll, you'll please also once you submit, you look at all the different. Uh, solutions etc that are possible so once again on behalf of um, rnsid team if you have any further questions we'll also you can also post in the youtube group uh, sorry the whatsapp groups that you're a part of we will send the links of all the youtube sessions so that you could have a look some of your friends we saw some of them joining today some of your friends got the information late and they join in late do not worry spend this time well be a topper in pgct i would want to see all the people who are regular all the people who gave feedback to be absolutely in the top as in the two digit rank top 100 of uh, pgct and i want to see all of you join good colleges like rnsit with this once again i want to say thank you have a lovely day even though you have varma lakshmi today we have bakri tomorrow we see a lot of people who are present your dedication will take you to great heights and this is my blessings and the blessings of all the people from rnsit all the best and I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. This is Vinod Prabhu from 7 Sense. Wishing all a wonderful preparatory time and all the best for your PGCT. Thank you so much. And we'll see you continue the interaction in the WhatsApp groups. Have a good day. Bye-bye.